Do you know what would happen if our immune system stops working just for 15 minutes? Microbes inside our body would start replicating rapidly and start eating us from inside. We literally become food for our own bacteria. Cells in our immune system are real unsung heroes working tirelessly around the clock to protect us from various infections and other diseases like cancer. Our immune system is so crucial that it starts developing as early as 9 weeks in the embryo and it is one of the last systems to shut down after death. But as important as it is, we do very little to support our immune system in our day-to-day -day life. Even though currently there is no single magic bullet to boost our immunity, there are some scientifically proven immune nutrients and lifestyle recommendations that can turbocharge our immune system. First one in the list is an unpopular but very important nutrient called glyconutrients. What's the matter, Sal? Not up on your glycobiology? We all know that our body needs vitamins, minerals, fatty acids, amino acids and probiotics to function properly. But they are just half of the story. Along with these, our body also needs glyconutrients. Glyconutrients are naturally occurring immune-regulating saccharides, also known as glycons. I'll give a little bit of biology about glycons. You see, every cell in our body, including immune cells, are covered in dense forest of glycons. These glycons act as sensors attached to the surface of the cell and they are very essential for cell-cell communication, which are crucial for healthy immune function and various cell physiology. These glycons also act as physical barriers that prevent bacteria and viruses from entering into the cell. Also the antibodies, the powerful weapon of our immune system is also partly made up of these glycons. Without adequate amount of these essential glycons, our body cannot form these cell surface glycoproteins and the result is a broken cell-cell communication, compromised immune system, autoimmune disorders and even cancer. Our body needs at least 8 of these glycons, which are glucose, galactose, fugose, mannose, xylose, etc. Among these, glucose and galactose are readily available in our diet, but other 6 are not easily found in our regular diet. Of course, in a perfect world, our body would easily convert glucose into all the other essential saccharides. But unfortunately, it is often very difficult for our body to synthesize adequate amount of these saccharides due to poor diet, nutrition and unhealthy lifestyle. These glyconutrients are so important that even mammalian milk is loaded with these glycons, which support the development of strong immune system in babies. So where do we get these glyconutrients from? Through our diet, of course. We need to eat what our ancestors ate. Lots of fruits and vegetables, especially ones that naturally ripe on the plant itself. Because only during the last stage of ripening, these glyconutrients are added in the fruits and vegetables. But due to modern agricultural methods and ease of transportation and storage, they harvest fruits and vegetables green very early which lack most of these essential glyconutrients. To overcome this, you can grow most of your vegetables and fruits at home organically and harvest them at the right stage of ripening. But if you don't have that option, don't worry. You still continue adding more vegetables and fruits in your diet regardless of what stage they were harvested at. Because alternatively, there are some plants and vegetables that I'm about to discuss right now are loaded with these glyconutrients naturally. First one in the list is Alibra gel, which contains mannose rich polysaccharides. This enhances cell cell communication and supports immune system effectively. Next is fenugreek, which are rich in mannose and galactose. Similarly, green beans, peas, capsicum, cabbage, corn, coconut, broccoli, eggplant, spinach, tomatoes are all rich in mannose and xylose. Certain mushrooms are also excellent source of glyconutrients, especially oyster mushrooms, shiitake, reishi, and cordyceps, etc. Researchers have shown that these mushrooms make the immune system so strong that it even reduces the risk of cancer. One study showed that in Japan, mushroom pickers had 50% lower risk of cancer because they regularly happen to eat these mushrooms. Similarly, brown seaweeds and red algae are also rich in glyconutrients. Herbs like Astragalus has very potent immune modulating glycons that have been proven to support and enhance immune system effectively. Fruits like guava, pears, pomegranate are also excellent source of glyconutrients, so include them regularly in your diet. When I think about glyconutrients, I always remember this quote. If you give the body what it needs, then the body will be able to heal itself. So if you include these glyconutrients in your diet regularly, your immune system will definitely thank you later. Next category is phytochemicals. 
Certain phytochemicals found in ginger, garlic, turmeric, black pepper, cumin, cinnamon, and green tea are wonderful natural immune boosters. They act as potent immune modulators that help lower inflammation and prevent cellular damages. So don't forget to add them regularly in your diet. Next is vitamins. There are some vitamins and minerals that have been shown to support our immune system effectively. First is vitamin A, which is crucial for the development and regulation of healthy immune system. Vitamin A is abundant in leafy green vegetables, carrots, milk, eggs, and fishes. Next is vitamin C, which plays an important role in enhancing our immune system naturally. Amla citrus fruits are excellent source of vitamin C. Next is vitamin D. Vitamin D is arguably the most important vitamin for a healthy immune system. Deficiency in vitamin D is associated with increased autoimmune disorders as well as increased risk of infections, both bacterial and viral. A recent study showed that patients with COVID-19 who had significant level of vitamin D had decreased risk for adverse outcomes and death compared to the patients who are deficient in vitamin D. All the major immune cells have the receptor for vitamin D, which means vitamin D is essential for their optimal function. Sun is a good source of vitamin D, but prolonged exposure to harmful sun's rays is not advisable. So just do it in moderation, up to 20 minutes a day. Vitamin D is also rich in mushrooms that are exposed to sunlight or UV light. Fortified cereals, egg yolk, oily fish, cod liver oil are also excellent source of vitamin D. You can also take supplements if you are deficient in vitamin D. 2000 IU per day would be sufficient for most people, but make sure you don't exceed 4000 per day. Talk to your doctor about supplementing with vitamin D in order to boost your immunity. Other vitamins like vitamin B6, folic acid, and vitamin E also play a vital role in regulating immune system. Legumes, leafy greens, whole grains, oats, bananas are rich in vitamin B6 and folic acid. Vitamin E is rich in broccoli, avocados, peanuts, and wheat gem oil. Next is minerals. Minerals like zinc, selenium, iron keep our immune system strong. Zinc is known to play a central role in regulating our immune system. A person deficient in zinc will experience increased susceptibility to various infections. Zinc and selenium are rich in beans, nuts, whole grains, seafoods, and yolk. Iron is rich in dried fruits, beans, seafood, and red meat. I would highly recommend to get adequate amount of vitamins and minerals from natural food sources rather than from supplements because they are not the same quality. Vitamins and minerals found in nature are always better. Next category is essential fatty acids. In this category, we have omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acids, which play an important role in our health and immunity. Omega-3 fatty acids, especially EPA and DHA, are well known to have favorable effects on our immunity and reduce inflammation. But omega-6, on the other hand, is pro-inflammatory, meaning it increases the inflammation in our body, which in turn increases the risk of autoimmune disorders, obesity, heart diseases, and cancer. So we need to incorporate foods that are rich in omega-3 and avoid foods that are high in omega-6. Another important thing to consider here is the ratio of omega-6 and 3 in our diet. Many evidences suggest that our human ancestors evolved and maintained 1 is to 1 ratio of these fatty acids in their diet. But with the advent of refined industrial cooking oils such as sunflower oil, palm oil, rice bran oil, corn oil, soybean oil, our modern diet is now very high in omega-6 fatty acid and very low in omega-3. This has spiked our omega-6 to omega-3 ratio up to whopping 40 to 1. This is very bad for our immunity and overall health. General recommendation is to maintain at least 4 is to 1 ratio of these fatty acids. So what oil should we use to maintain this healthy balance of omega-6 and omega-3? We can use cold-pressed unrefined coconut oil, which is very low in omega-6. And now modern research has also proven that the median chain fatty acids found in coconut oil are very healthy and can also boost our immunity. Similarly, you can use ghee, olive oil, avocado oil, flaxseed oil, and also eat a lot of oily fishes like sardine at least once a week or take cod liver oil. You can also use cold-pressed organic mustard oil or canola oil, but in moderation. All these are rich in omega-3 and relatively low in omega-6 fatty acids. So fix your oil first in order to have a healthy immune system. Lastly, lifestyle recommendations. 
By now we all know that highly processed inflammatory diet that is lacking essential nutrients, high sugar consumption, sedentary lifestyle, obesity, stress, lack of sleep, smoking and alcohol all affects all the system in our body and immune system is no exception. Now let's see what are the things we need to do to improve our immune system. First and foremost is good quality sleep in the night, at least for 8 hours in a stretch. Because during sleep, new immune cells are formed and released into the bloodstream. Lack of sleep will severely impair your immunity, which is a published and well-known fact. Next is positive emotional state. Having a positive attitude towards life has been shown to enhance our immunity greatly. So be optimistic and do meditation and breathing exercises. Listen to music, which can lead to positive emotional state and reduce stress. And most importantly, do regular exercises. Because research has shown that regular moderate physical exercises is very important to enhance our immunity. Eat healthy and balanced diet. And no, one apple a day won't keep the doctor away. You need to include variety of fruits and vegetables in your diet and maintain a healthy weight. Because obesity is also associated with decreased immunity. Additionally, avoid putting toxic chemicals into the body through various cosmetic products, especially that contain parabens, phenols, benzene, phthalates, and oxybenzone, which disrupt our immune system so badly. Unfortunately, most common cosmetic products on the market are loaded with these toxic chemicals. So try using genuinely natural products as much as possible. Wear a mask while going out and take medications only if it is absolutely necessary because certain medications also can suppress our immunity. And finally, take all recommended vaccines. Vaccines arm our immune system to fight against various infections. But remember, building a strong healthy immune system won't happen overnight. We need to consistently follow all the healthy lifestyle and nutritional recommendations in order to build a healthy immune system, which will help you live a longer and healthier life. A lot of research goes into making these videos. So if you like these videos, please support this channel by subscribing and sharing. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.